Oh yeah, I got a shooter rod. You want to go in the FedEx box, really? Like, you're too fat for that, silly cat. Uh, just a public service announcement for the day. Do not eat China. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Okay, I just had to rush home because my doorbell went off. And it was my package from Marco had arrived, and the mailman just set it out front of the door for the world to see. Just a big shiny package at my doorstep. So I had to rush home and make sure I could get it before Porch Pirates got it. So, good news is I got my Marco order. We're going to check that out, see what we got inside. Um, bad news is that I also just got a message from Measle Mods that well, says my shipment is out for delivery. But I swear I ordered that like three weeks ago. My Globals. So did they just ship it now? I'm gonna have to look into that because that would suck. They'd have to wait another two or three weeks before I can finish Ghostbusters. My cat is uh, trying to get my attention. She heard me come home. Okay, so that's at 1.32, I get that message from Measle Mods. At 1.41, I get a message from Cointaker that says, shipping notification that the art blades I ordered for Whitewater, maybe two weeks ago, week and a half, I forget, week, is out for delivery. So that's just getting shipped now too. So apparently when you click on purchase and pay, it doesn't mean your order is getting shipped within the next couple days. Uh, I'll double check that, but yeah. So Marco, that came within like three days, but I mean, measle mods might be five, six weeks. Coin taker might be three, four weeks. I don't know. Anyway, um, do you want to be part of the action? Now, Eli's got a dude's name because we thought she was a dude when she was living out on the street. And our street is Elias, so we called her Eli. Found out she's a girl, so she's got a boy's name kind of, right, Eli? All right, let's, uh, she always wants to be part of the action. Come on, let's get out of the way there. Let's see what we got in our box. Okay, packing materials. Oh, I'm gonna have to unpack half this stuff probably. It's all gonna be, oh, there's, let's zoom out here. Some leg protectors. Ah, switch adjuster tool, that's for Corey. Ah, haul and flipper crank. That actually, I believe, is for Rick York. So that's gonna be Rick's pile. Ah, this is Kevin's pile. We got cabinet, wing nuts. This is Kevin's pile. Welcome to the world of switch adjusting tools. We've got three different um, styles. It's good to get the three different styles because then um, you can get it all the different angles. All right? Where are you going? Oh yeah, right into the middle of the action. She's uh, made it in many of my photos for stuff that I post on eBay, because as soon as I put my paper down to take a photo, she goes on the paper. So you'll see her footprints or fo her paws in a couple of photos here and there on my eBay listings. Okay, rubbers, more rubbers. Locks. Okay, this is Rob Noel. This is Rob Noel. This is Rob Noel. Ah, this is for me in case I find the white water lost plastic. Still haven't heard from Drano. Here, Drano. Here is my new ball cap with four intact fins. So that's sweet. Two coils. Who is that for again? Uh, that. Oh yeah, that's for Rob Noel's customer who he sold Star Trip to, but Star Trip belonged to Brad Hopkins. Brad gave it to Rob to sell. Rob sold it. The guy that owns Star Trip now thinks that there's something wrong with the flipper coils, but 
we're all pretty convinced that it's not the flipper coils, but um, he customer's adamant. He wants flipper coils, so he's got flipper coils. It's rarely your flipper coils that's the issue. It's, unless they're, they look physically burnt up. Oh, I don't get to zoom back up. No. Oh, yeah, this is also for Kevin. Fuses. He asked if I could uh, hook him up with some of the most common fuses just to have on hand. So this is the uh, Mike D Fuse Starter Kit. Got them pretty much what he will need to get started. This switch also, I believe, is for Rick York. So maybe that goes in that pile. So what did I get? Oh yeah, there's a couple more things. Let's open this up. Welcome back. Okay. Oh yeah, I got a shooter rod. You want to go in the FedEx box, really? Like, you're too fat for that silly cat. She's going to try and go in anyway. You're a silly cat. We turned this box upside down. That's like her new uh, chill zone because there's a heater right under there. and It's nice and warm in there, cause, so that'll look nice on white water. They didn't have white. I couldn't find white leg protectors at a couple different places I looked. Don't they make white? They make clear, but not white. So that's for me, that's for me, that's for me, that's for me, that's for me. These are standoffs for the lost plastic if I ever get one. Uh, and then one last thing here. What do we got here? I forget. Just pull it. Oh, yes, that is very important. Oh, when it said it, they came unassembled, I didn't know if I believed them. Now I do. Now I do. Hmm. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Ah, my trough gate. It looks a little dinky. But apparently it's the right one. So uh, I hope hope it is, because then I could actually install my trough parts and my apron. Now, once upon a time when I was looking for one of these, they were out of stock for ages. Now that they're in stock, I just bought two just to have because they're like 250 US each. Okay, so there should be Eli's passing through again. Should be. Oh yeah, this. This is an actuator arm for the uh, flipper cabinet switch. Remember, mine was a little bent. I just was stumbling. I stumbled across this while looking at Marco and thought I'll just grab one for fun. Check it out. Cheap enough, two bucks or whatever. Okay, should be one last thing in here. There we go. The other green target. Cool. All right, I think that's about it. Yep. So now I've got to uh, do some advanced mathematical calculations to find out who owes what. But yeah, so good news, Marco's here. Bad news, I might be waiting quite a while for measle mods and coin taker, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I just got finished dealing with the Marco order and calculating who owes what. And my doorbell notification went off. And look what I got. Measle mods. So that's what that notification was. Not that it was just being shipped. It was that it was on route. So let's take a look. Henry, I got your balls. You're going to want to come grab them, I'm sure, ASAP. Okay, let's take out that invoice there. What do we got? Oh, yay, more stickers. That's going up somewhere. Oh, is this another ad for Texas Pinball Festival? Yep. Yeah. Check out that dude. That is one serious Texan. The long and winding road. He's got a fathom and a medieval madness. TPP, TPF or bust. What's his license plate say? It's hard to read. Can't read that. What does it say? Room for one more in the back, but critters walk. 
Oh, and look who wants to join the party, as usual. Yes, dear, we have a new package to open. You want to come check it out? Here. Oh, she likes this paper. That's, uh... Oh, my balls have spilt. My balls have spilleth out. All right. Eli will make, make you happy, make me happy, and make Henry happy. Okay, there you go. You can have the paper. Check this out. Four pack of balls. Do not eat. Really? Come from China, it looks like. Interesting. Globals. Modifymypin.com. Interesting. Might have to go check that out. Okay, so Henry, you can have this package, the non-spilled balls. Oh look, it opens up like that, and you can read all about it. Keep these out of the reach of children. Never be placed in your mouth, as they pose a choking hazard. You got that, kids? Don't eat glow balls. All right, so they have little stickers on them. These are friggin'. These should be blue because they are frozen. Get it? Blue balls. It is not nice today. It's minus a lot. <laughs> Feels like minus 22 last I looked. It's that Celsius. It's Canadian De Niro's. Okay, so these are mine. Henry, I'll message you shortly. But yeah, that's it. That's all. This is not cheap. Let me see how much it cost us. $117 US. You know how much that is in Canadian dollars? Pretty much round it up to like 100 bucks each for this. 25 bucks a ball. At least 20 for sure. But for Ghostbusters, it's totally worth it. Now I can finally put Ghostbusters back together. Everything's coming together. Um, yeah, all right. So I got a sore wrist today somewhere in this stupid thing. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, kind of impeding on my progress. So hopefully I can make some today. But yeah, this is a good Friday for sure. Uh, just a public service announcement for the day. Do not eat China. <laughs>